The Shuttle Radar Topography Mission is an international research effort that obtained digital elevation models on a near global scale from 56 degrees south to 60 degrees north, to generate the most complete high-resolution digital topographic database of Earth prior to the release of the Aster GDEM in 2009. SRTM consisted of a specially modified radar system that flew on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour during the 11-day STS-99 mission in February 2000, based on the older Spaceborne Imaging Radar C, X-band Synthetic Aperture Radar Sir C, X -SAR, previously used on the shuttle in 1994. To acquire topographic data, the SRTM payload was outfitted with two radar antennas. One antenna was located in the shuttle's payload bay, the other, a critical change from the Sir C. X SAR, allowing single pass interferometry, on the end of a 60 meter 200 foot mast that extended from the payload bay once the shuttle was in space. The technique employed is known as interferometric synthetic aperture radar. Intermap Technologies was the prime contractor for processing the interferometric synthetic aperture radar data. The elevation models are arranged into tiles, each covering one degree of latitude and one degree of longitude, named according to their southwestern corners. For example, N45E006 stretches from 45 degrees north 6 degrees east to 46 degrees north 7 degrees east and S45W006 from 45 degrees south 6 degrees west to 44 degrees south 5 degrees west. The resolution of the raw data is 1 arcsecond 30 meters along the equator and coverage includes Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and Australia. A derived 1 arcsecond dataset with trees and other non-terrain features removed covering Australia was made available in November 2011. The raw data are restricted for government use. For the rest of the world, only 3 arcsecond 90 meters along the equator data are available. Each one arcsecond tile has 3,601 rows, each consisting of 3,601 16-bit Bigandian cells. The dimensions of the three arcsecond tiles are 1,201 by 1,201. The original SRTM elevations were calculated relative to the WGS84 ellipsoid and then the EGM96 geoid separation values were added to convert to heights relative to the geoid for all the released products. The elevation models derived from the SRTM data are used in geographic information systems. They can be downloaded freely over the internet and their file format .hgt is widely supported. The Shuttle Radar Topography Mission is an international project spearheaded by the U.S. National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA. NASA transferred the SRTM payload to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in 2003. The canister, mast, and antenna are now on display at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia. Topic. No data areas The elevation datasets are affected by mountain and desert no data areas. These amount to no more than 0.2% of the total area surveyed, but can be a problem in areas of very high relief. They affect all summits over 8,000 meters, most summits over 7,000 meters, many alpine and similar summits and ridges, and many gorges and canyons. There are some SRTM data sources which have filled these data voids, but some of these have used only interpolation from surrounding data, and may therefore be very inaccurate. If the voids are large, or completely cover summit or ridge areas, no interpolation algorithms will give satisfactory results. Other developers, including NASA World Wind and Google Earth, have improved their results by using one arc second for the United States and three arc second for the rest of the world, data in the interpolation process, but, due to the poor resolution of these data, and very poor quality of some of them, they have further improved their Earth viewing services by adding data from other sources. Topic. Void filled SRTM datasets Groups of scientists have worked on algorithms to fill the voids of the original SRTM data. Two datasets offer global coverage void-filled SRTM data at full resolution, the CGIARCSI versions. 
and the USGS Hydrosheds dataset. The CGIARCSI version 4 provides the best global coverage full resolution SRTM dataset. The Hydrosheds dataset was generated for hydrological applications and is suitable for consistent drainage and water flow information. References are provided on the algorithms used and quality assessment. The void filled SRTM data from viewfinder panoramas are high quality at full SRTM resolution. Since November 2012 there is free and global coverage at 3 arc seconds available. In November 2013, LPDAAC released the NASA Shuttle Radar Topography Mission SRTM version 3.0 SRTM Plus product collection with all voids eliminated. Voids were filled primarily from Aster GDEM-2, and secondarily from USGS GMTED-2010 or USGS National Elevation Dataset for the United States except Alaska and northernmost Mexico according to the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Highest resolution global release 1 arc second global digital elevation model 30 meters is available from the United States Geological Survey website. The United States government announced on September 23, 2014 over a United Nations climate summit that the highest possible resolution of global topographic data derived from the SRTM mission will be released to public. Before the end of the same year, a 1 arc second global digital elevation model 30 meters was released. Most parts of the world have been covered by this dataset ranging from 54 degrees south to 60 degrees north latitude except for the Middle East and North Africa area. Missing coverage of the Middle East was completed in August 2015. Topic. Users In early June 2011, there were 750,000 confirmed users of SRTM topography dataset. Users in 221 countries have accessed the site. Topic. See also Interferometric synthetic aperture radar Digital elevation model National Geospatial Intelligence Agency Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer SRTM Water Body Data Worldum Private Data with Higher Resolution, from newer satellite Terrasar X Tandem X Notes <laughs>